What is up guys, Cube Nation here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the Rubik's Clock. Let's begin. Now before solving the clock, the first thing you want to do is to know how it works. So these clocks work on pins, as you can already see, but when you move one pin up, all four of these clocks will move. So that happens for everything, so if you move two pins up, all six of these clocks will move. If you move one more pin up, all the clocks will move except for this one, since no pins are connected to this. So, everything moves except for this corner. If you move all the pins up, then the whole clock will move. One pin down, everything except for that one. So, yeah. Pretty interesting, but yeah. So yeah, so let's begin. So the first step is to get the cross. Now this is similar to 3x3 where you get the cross, but it's completely different. So what you want to do is you want to match this middle clock with this clock. As you can see, this is already mixed, but for example, if it wasn't, you want to match it up with this. If it's already matched up, you can leave it, but most likely it's not. So what you want to do is you want to move this this pin or this pin because if you meet if you move these two bottom pins and you move it the bottom will move as well as the middle so you'll never get to the exact point same with this one if you move it here these two will move at the same time but if you move if you move if you um push the pin up on the top layer only the center will move so you can match this up with the bottom clock. So just pick one, I'm picking the top right, and you just want to move it until it matches with the bottom clock. Then you can push this pin down, and now you're trying to match these two clocks with this one. Now same thing, you cannot move it here because if you're trying these two are already matched, and if you move it here, it's going to mess up these two. And also you're trying to fix this one. And if that moves and that moves, you're never going to get to the position you want. Same with this one. This is going to move, but this is also going to get destroyed. So you want to do this pin. If you move this pin, all of these all of these will move. And you'll never get to the right place you want it to. If you move these, these three will move, and this won't. So you can just turn it until it matches. Then you want to push that pin down. And you, wanna, and you want to match it with this one. Now what you want to do is same thing, but you want to move this pin up and match it. And push that pin down. You want to match this. It's already matched, but if it weren't matched, you want to move these two pins up and just match it with this top clock. So once it's matched, you want to move all the pins up and put all the cross to 12 o'clock. After that, you just want to flip the clock. And the next thing you want to do is the same thing as making a cross. So I'm going to cut this video out, but it should be very easy. You can just move back to where I showed how to make the cross. So yeah. Okay, so I've made the cross. You do not need to put all these crosses at 12. These will already be at 12, but you don't need to put these at 12. So once you do that, make sure all the pins are up. And you just want to pick a corner. I'm going to pick this one. It's kind of hard to see, but it's at 1 o'clock. So what you want to do is, once you pick the corner you're in, you want to push the pin down on that corner. So this is the top right clock. You want to push down the top right pin. Once you do that, you can turn every gear here except for the top right. Now once you do that, you just want to turn it until the cross matches with this. So, something like that. All of these cross matches with that corner. So once you do that, you want to put all the pins up again. Pick. I'm going to pick this corner now. Same thing, push this down. You can move any gear except for this one. And just make it turn until it matches with that. Push that pin up. Pick this one. that pin up this one 
And then, once you do the last one, you want to push every pin up and move these all to 12. And when you flip it, this clock should also magically be 12. Now, if it isn't 12, you can just do it again, but it should turn to 12. If you didn't, you probably did something wrong. So yeah, guys. So this is super simple with no out. So guys, I am going to Singapore Open tomorrow, actually. So I'm pretty excited. I'm and I'm not going to make a vlog. I'm just going to probably record my solve and do a voiceover at the comp. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope this helped. Cube Nation.